India and Pakistan, the two nuclear-armed South Asian rivals, have shared a tumultuous relationship marked by periodic hostilities since their inception. With three major wars and one limited-intensity conflict in their shared history, achieving lasting peace has remained an elusive goal. In recent years, both nations have placed significant emphasis on developing indigenous combat aircraft, among other strategic priorities. This focus has culminated in the creation of the Indian Light Combat Aircraft Tejas and the Pakistani JF-17 Thunder, a collaborative project with China. These aircraft, intended to strengthen their respective air forces and compete on the global defense markets, garnered widespread attention at the Dubai Air Show last year. So, in this video, we are comparing these two aircraft, analyzing their design, speed, range, avionics, and armament, to see which one will win. Let's dive right in. Both India's LCA Tejas and Pakistan's JF-17 Thunder represent significant advancements in their nation's respective aviation capabilities. As single-engine, lightweight, multi-role fighters, they were designed to replace aging third-generation counterparts, the MiG-21 in India's inventory, and a variety of Chinese and French models in the case of Pakistan. The Tejas has been designed by two domestic companies, the Aeronautical Development Agency, and the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. The LCA's maiden flight was successfully completed in 2001, but didn't enter service with the Indian Air Force until 2015. On the other hand, the JF-17 Thunder is a Pakistan-specific version of China's FC-1 Shaolong, jointly developed by the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex and China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation. The first test flight of the JF-17 prototype took place in 2003. The JF-17 was inducted in the Pakistan Air Force in February 2010. The LCA Tejas features a lightweight airframe composed of composites, allowing for increased fuel and ordnance capacity, weighing only 6.5 tons when empty and over 14 tons when loaded. It maintains a favorable thrust-to-weight ratio. Equipped with the Israeli ELM-2032 radar, it offers comprehensive target tracking capabilities with a detection range of up to 150 kilometers for airborne targets. Its digital fly-by-wire system, tested on an F-16, enhances pilot control and safety. The tailless compound delta wing design ensures enhanced maneuverability and agility optimized for minimum transonic and supersonic wave drag. This multi-role combat aircraft is designed for interception, air-to-surface, and anti-shipping roles. In contrast to the Tejas, the JF-17 features an all-metal construction for its fuselage, aimed at streamlining production and reducing costs. Newer variants have incorporated composites to address the downsides of using non-composite materials but with limited success. With an empty weight of approximately 6.6 .6 tons and a maximum takeoff weight of around 12.5 tons, it maintains a slightly higher weight compared to its Indian counterpart. The JF-17 is equipped with the KLJ-7 multi-mode radar located in the nose, serving as its primary sensor. While its performance parameters may not match those of the Israeli counterpart on the Tejas, the KLJ-7 radar nevertheless ensures operational effectiveness. Unlike the Tejas, the JF-17 lacks a digital fly-by-wire system, employing instead an electromechanical system for jet control. This compromise was made to reduce costs, limiting the JF-17's performance to some extent. The Tejas is powered by a single General Electric engine, allowing it a maximum speed of Mach 1.8, with an average range of 3,000 kilometers. In contrast, the JF-17, equipped with a single Klimov RD-93 afterburning turbofan engine, has a maximum speed of Mach 1.6. In addition to being slower than its Indian counterpart, the JF-17 also has shorter overall range of around 2,000 kilometers. 
The Tejas boasts versatility in armament with the capability to carry a wide array of weapons across its seven hardpoints. With a maximum payload capacity of 3.5 tons, six of its hardpoints are located on the wings, while one is situated on the fuselage. An additional hardpoint is dedicated to accommodating targeting pods, enhancing its reconnaissance capabilities. The Tejas is compatible with both Western, Eastern, and indigenous Indian armaments. It can be equipped with Russian missiles like the R-73, Israeli missiles such as the Python, and the domestically developed Astra missiles. The GSH-23, a 23mm aircraft gun, is also available depending on mission requirements. Similar to the Tejas, the JF-17 is equipped with seven hardpoints, consisting of two wingtip, four wing-mounted, and one centerline configuration. Its arsenal comprises a blend of Chinese and American weaponry. Notably, it can deploy the American AM-9 missile, renowned for its effectiveness in air-to-air -air engagements. The JF-17 can also launch the CM-400 anti-ship missile, considered an analogous solution to the BrahMos, India's supersonic cruising anti-ship missile, and a significant threat to Indian carrier battle groups. In its arsenal are also Chinese air-to-air -air missiles, like the PL-12, PL-10, and PL-9, enhancing its capability to engage aerial targets effectively. Lastly, considering their safety records, Tejas has demonstrated superior safety compared to the JF-17 Thunder, with the latter experiencing four times as many accidents, some resulting in fatalities. It is also important to note that Tejas serves as India's third line of defense, while the JF-17 constitutes the backbone of the Pakistan Air Force. While Tejas contributes significantly to advancing domestic technology in India, the JF-17's development was largely attributed to China. With this being said, we believe that India's Tejas aircraft is superior compared to the JF-17. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.